Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about RPG in a box. Now I've covered this guy a couple of times in the past, and we're covering it for a very cool reason right now. And that is because you can get RPG in a box for free. Actually, I'm doing this a couple of days early so you all know about it, so you will be able to get RPG in a box for free, starting on December the 1st. So first, a bit of an overview of what RPG in a box is about, then we're going to get how you can get it for free, then I'm going to show you a little bit more about RPG in box, in case you're uh, new to it, you just picked it up for free, and you want to know what this engine is all about. So it is a game engine for a very specific purpose. It is for creating RPGs or role-playing games uh, in a voxel art style. You can do uh, 2D projection or you can do it two and a half or you can do first person perspective. Uh, it is very easy to work with. It is also built over top of the Godot game engine. Uh, so if you are a Godot lover, you're going to be immediately at home with the user interface. It is a very robust set of tools. Uh, if you're interested in picking it up today and you want to pay full price for it, well, you can buy it on itch.io or on Steam. And in terms of buying it, uh, it is currently uh, $25 USD on Steam. So if you want to get it for free, well, this gets interesting for some of you, I know, because you're going to have, uh, let's say, a moral quandary about this. Personally, I don't care. I've got nothing against where it's hosted. Some of you are going to have a little bit of an issue with this one uh, because it's available as a free game on the Epic Game Store. Yes, uh, I know some of you do not like the Epic Game Store. Again, uh, I get my free stuff every month when they release release it. And you'll notice right now, by the way, the excellent Star Wars Squadrons is currently available for free. Uh, if you have an account, pick that one up. It is pretty awesome. But the reason why we are talking about RPG in a Box today is, as you will see, on December the 1st through December the 8th, you can get RPG in the Box uh, completely free. So what's the catch here? A no catch, really. You need to create an account, sign up, add it to your cart, and check out. And literally, uh, that is kind of the extent of the process. And then it is yours forever. Uh, and yeah, so if you ever want to pick up RPG in a box, you will be able to get it for free uh, between December the 1st and December the 7th on the Epic Game Store. So I'm going to be really interested. The people that absolutely hate Epic Game Store but love game engines, where are you going to end up on this one? But for everyone else, hey, free stuff, a free game engine. So let's go take a quick look at RPG in a box so you get an idea of what you're getting. So again, uh, it is very much on the voxel-based arts style. Uh, you can switch your camera mode, again, top-down or first-person perspective. Uh, if you've used the Godot game engine, you're going to really kind of recognize the user interface going on. There's a couple of really nice things uh, with RPG in the box, and that's specifically the in-the-box part. Every single thing you see uh, is available in here. So you've got uh, a voxel editor with animations built in. So if you want to do um, create your own objects, you can. We also notice you've got a ton of things that you can populate your game world. So here we are in the map editor. If I want to add a stone wall into the world, boom. So here is how your population works. Uh, it's a very simple engine to work with in that regard. You can build the maps up. By the way, if you go over to the itch.io page, you can download a number of the samples, such as this one right here. On top of that, you have the scripting or logic. How does that work? Well, it uses this visual programming system that is very, very simple. Uh, so you can see at start, play a sound and heal the entity named player. Or you can see down here, you can use this script code. So if you want a script, you can script. You want to do it visually, you can do it visually. You update one, the other one updates as well. So it's got this very nice visual scripting interface, very friendly to beginners. Uh, if you've ever used RPG Maker, you're also going to find a lot of the things are similar. So we got uh, an item maker. So you can have various different items to populate the world and various different properties for said items. Uh, you got the ability to create quests. I don't know if I have any quests in this sample that I can show you one. Um, not sure. Anyways, you got a quest editor in there. Uh, you have a combat editor for uh, creating uh, attack types and different kind of uh, modes of combat, uh, such as, you know, tactical turn-based battle here. Uh, you got the ability to create and edit stats. So de depending on what kind of game you want to make, you can have the stats in there. So if you want to have the traditional D&D strength, dexterity, and so on, you can do that. Uh, if you want to use another system, you can create those as well. If you don't want stats, you can ignore this completely. Uh, there is full-blown documentation in here for the entire engine, which is quite quite nice as well. Uh, you have a UI editor for creating the UI for your game. Uh, you do have sound effects generators in there for creating quick sound effects. This is based off of SFXR. You've probably seen it before. The tons of things are based off of that one, but you can basically create quick special effects, sound effects, using the sound effects generator in there. Uh, you do have the asset library. This is all the various different assets that ship with it. As you see, you've got a lot of stuff to get up and going. Uh, this is very nice, especially if you are a new uh, person to it. You'll also notice we could use them over here for placing them in the world. Uh, 
All these entities, again, can be edited directly in the system. This does have full animation support as well. So you do have that built-in voxel editor. So that is the really nice thing in general with the whole thing is you don't ever have to actually leave it. So the in-a-box part means a full RPG creation system. So you don't need a tool for sound effects. You don't need a tool for graphics. You don't need anything else. And even you've got these dialogue systems here uh, that have the ability to affect the game world, change variables, set values, conditional. So here you can see... Uh, an if-then condition, so then or otherwise do this, so you can have conditional branching dialogue support in here all built in with this tool editor as well. So you have all of the variables from editors you need to make any kind of games. You got uh, a a very nice map editor built in. Again, you got voxel editors for your various different characters. Uh, it, it's definitely one of those things that I would recommend checking out. The only limitation I would say on RPG in a box, obviously, is it's RPG style games, and that's what it's created for. So it's very much like RPG Maker in scope. Um, and then it's very much tied to the voxel graphic style. So if you don't want to create like a Minecraft or Minecraft Legends looking game or um, Roblox or whichever and those stuff, if you do not like voxel art, the RPG in a box is not going to be for you. But if you like RPG, uh, sorry, if you like voxel graphics, definitely one worth checking out. And once again, uh, if you... Uh, if you can stand the Epic Game Store, uh, you can get it completely free. Uh, it's, again, some templates to get you up and running. Uh, very good and solid documentation available here as well. So all of the stuff, every tool that you might want to work with is documented here as is the scripting uh, process. Again, you can script using text or you can use the visual editor. It's kind of amazing just how robust of an engine RPG in a box actually is. And as I mentioned earlier on, starting on... Uh, December the 1st until I believe it was December the 7th, uh, you can get it completely free on the Epic Game Store. So again, you know how to create, a, uh, create an account if you don't already have one, add it to your cart, check out, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, RPG in a box is then yours forever. Again, it's going to implement, it's going to create a, an interesting moral dilemma for certain users, and, and I find that hilarious, to be honest. Uh, but let me know what you think of RPG in a box, and of course, I know many of you are going to let me know what you think of the Epic Game Store, but um, yeah, at least it's on topic, this particular video. Uh, it's a great opportunity to pick it up. I do believe also, and I'm not 100% certain here, but um, I think the number of people that download it also determines how much money the creator makes from the Epic Game Store. Uh, so I do think you're helping the creator out by downloading it, even if you don't use it. But I may be off base on that one. I'm not 100% certain. So if you know for details of how that works, uh, do let me know if it's a flat fee or if it's a per download. Uh, and, you know, we can help out uh, Justin Arnold here if uh, if it is the case that the more downloads means the more money he makes. All right, so Arpeggino Box uh, available for free on the Epic Game Store starting on December the 1st. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.